Good news! I did all the work. <clears throat> ah, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble clearing that place it out. It wasn't. Either way, I found what we need to fix the damn thing. I've also reached out to Shelly again, and she told me that they're fixing up a boat right now. They'll be on their way in maybe a day or two, so we gotta double time it with fixing up that lighthouse. I thought they needed help. There should be a power generator connected to that light, as well as a power switch. If you make me go back. We fix those, and that lighthouse will light up like a Christmas tree. Now I just have to remember where I left my damn screwdriver. Anyways, you go on. I'll meet you there. It's right there. I found it. It's literally here. Look, can we go together, Jake? I'm starting to think you're some type of demon. Leave the area. Oh my god, what? Rabbits are an enemies game. Jake, you're gonna catch pneumonia, my friend. Oh, look at this. Excuse me. Hey, there you are. Alright, the generator should be fixed right now, so all that's left to do is flip the power switch back up and pray to god that it works. So, you want to do the honors? Sure. Oh, you son of a bitch. You, ju you just don't want to climb the stairs. God, you're so lazy, Jake. Okay. Okay, I'm up here. Oh god, he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna want me to come all the way back to... Oh god. I did it. <clears throat> well, would you look at that. There's no way they're missing this. Now all that's left to do is wait for them to get here. I'll be staying here. They'll probably get here in a couple days or so. Don't feel like you have to wait up. Come back in a couple of days. Meet some new faces. And then smash them in. Alright, awesome. All the rads are gone. Feels great. I can't wait to meet Shelly. The big arrival. Wait for the responders to arrive. And such. Alright, Jerry, let's make Jamaica Plains our home. Alright, it's been a few days, and we got the call. Shelly! Shelly, I love your boat, Shelly. Look at this. I'm sorry it's raining. <clears throat> Hi there. Hi, Shelly. Now, you must be the recruit which Jake can't stop yapping about. Oh, oh Jake. My name's Shelly. Nice to meet you. And, uh, I want to thank you for all that you've done for us. Did we do anything? None of this could have been possible without you. I guess. Hell, we'd probably be stuck down in Providence. Oh, by the way, Jake is looking for you. He's upstairs. Again. As usual. Tell him he needs to take a break once in a while, would you? Shelly, did you bring anyone with you? Is it just you? Oh, Shelly, I'm sorry. Also, I hope he told you to bring boots. Because, man, it is damp here. Oh, hi there, yeah. hobo. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, you have a good day. Oh, more hobos. Or yeah. you're you're less hoboey. Less hoboey. Um. Yes. Yeah. Talking to Jake over here. Hey, welcome back. I take it that you've met Shelly and the gang. She must have told you I was up here. Anyways, I've got a new task for you. It seems that our bad luck streak hasn't come to an end yet. That boat Shell and her team were on was dragging a barge behind it. But it seems that 200 year old cables aren't so reliable anymore. Shelly told me that a big wave hit the barge which made the cable snap. With the result that most of the supplies went into the water. Luckily no one got hit by the cable, but still, those supplies could have really helped us out. A couple of guys went out looking as soon as they arrived 
to see if anything had washed up yet. They found some of the containers not far from here, but it seems that the raiders had gotten to it before we did. I want you to get out there and take care of those raiders. Yes, sir. When that's done, I'll send some people to collect what is still there. It probably won't be much, but right now, we need everything we can get. It's time to start murdering. Man, I'm doing a lot more murdering than helping people. But that's okay, I'm fine with that. Help me. Someone call the responders. Oh god, no. It's on chest bridge. No. Oh god. Oh. Oh, we got some strong babies over here. I've done this hundreds of times. You've died hundreds of times? Looking for some boxes with some bandages and tape. Where are we gonna find it? Maybe in these grapes? Oh, that's right there. Never mind. I mean, he's definitely not fighting anyone is what he's doing. Okay, I'm coming. Stop shooting me. Nope, no, I'm not. I'm the axe man. Oh, God damn it. Oh, almost, almost got you on the couch. There we go. Just gotta burn, burn all these hobo structures. Sorry, Jerry, I know you're in there. I'll just drag these back hey. with, with my bare hands. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jerry, you got this. Jerry, you can do it. In the butt. Heads up. Kill that man. On him. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork. Find the raiders. Oh my god, what? There's more raiders? Kill anyone in the vicinity. Looks like them raider boys got themselves into some trouble. Oh dear. I missed. We're here to retrieve our stolen property. Y'all could shut up. But I'm going to. <laughs> Is there a bad boy? There he is. Oh, he's throwing his... He's throwing his tchotchkes at me. Oh my god, I'm on fire. I'm a different kind of fireman. Ow. Jeez. Still kicking? Alright. All clear, ma'am. Too late. I'll take your life and your soul. And for good measure. Oh, we well, don't want to. Yeah, it's still, it's still good. There's a strong boxes. Oh, now you're ready, Jerry. Now that I've killed everyone, now you're prepared to fight. I'll, I'll switch you out. I'll, I'll pick up Steve. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll get Steve. I'll get Cuddles. Cuddles can't fit through doors, but I'll, I'll pick him up. Hey. So, did you find anything? Death. I don't know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> have you looked? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> some of the others found some small crates washed up on the beach. We're all going to move back to the bunker soon. Well, as soon as they have finished fishing those crates out of the water. We might need to sleep in shifts, but hey, at least we'll be safe. We'll bring the supplies down there as well, so if you are short on something, talk to Shelly. She's her new quartermaster. Oh, that reminds me. She needed your help with something. Seemed important. I doubt it, Jake. Beachcomber, take out yes. your combs. Ah. Hey, it's finally nice out. Oh, God. Whee! 
Shelly, you're out of stock. What's going on? Hi. Hi there. Hi there. We tried to fish as many crates out of the water as we could, but it's just not enough. Looking at what we have, we might survive a month at most. How much do you people eat? And now that I'm the new quartermaster, it is my responsibility to make sure we have the supplies to stay alive. I was hoping that maybe you could help me out. Nope. There's a federal stockpile up north. Raiders have been trying to get in, but it seems that they can't get past the main gate. There should be a password or key somewhere around there. So if you could, check that place for supplies. I'd really appreciate it. I bet you would, Shelly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have some fishing left to do. All right. Find a way inside the Federal Ration Stockpile main area. Is this the... Oh, it is. Okay. And I'm gonna murder everyone. Everyone's here gonna get murdered. All right. Well, I got a little cocky. Oh. Gonna murder everyone but quieter this time. Bitch. Okay. Last time I came in here, I got shot in the face with a rocket launcher. Ooh, someone else has a flamethrower. Hey, Jerry's fine dogs. Let's get the hell inside. Hurry up. Who? Me. Okay. Mother Jameson. Oh man. PG-13, jeez. Hey, do you want to be burned alive? I got, here it is. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Jeez. That's it. Single action revolver, new orders. This is a message to all military personnel. All supplies are to be listed, collected, and shipped to collection site Zulu. Please note that theft will result in immediate disciplinary action. Convoys will be sent to collect the shipments at a yet-to-be-determined date and time. Major Thompson. Tell Shelly about the shipment. Well, we're about to get real comfortable, Jerry. Oh, it's just Shelly. Hey, where'd you leave everyone else? <clears throat> well, you sure are back fast. Yeah, I'm fast. Did you find anything? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm real dumb. Let's have a look. Wait. The army moved the supplies to some other location? Why would they do that? Do you know where they've taken it to? No idea. Well, we gotta find this place. If the army cleared out the federal stockpile, they've probably done the same with all the other stockpiles. There's a big chance we aren't talking about just food here. They could have stored weapons, ammo, medical supplies, everything. Couches. We should check the military checkpoints. Perhaps we can find some intel on where this location is. The supplies will probably be kept behind a locked door, so we also need to find a key or password to get access. I can't imagine they would just leave it on a desk somewhere, so it'll probably have been kept by whomever was in charge at the time. Yeah, y'all keep saying we, and then I keep leaving. Enjoy your kissing club. Come on, Jerry, we don't need them. We don't need them. Military business. Search the first military location. Hi there. Best of luck with surviving. I said. God. Jameson. Just trying to get medical supplies. It's nothing. Oh, wait, no. Sergeant Miller's note. Sir, all supplies have been transported to the new stockpile. Federal supply cash 8 for any as ordered. We're awaiting new orders, Sergeant Miller. Man, that is some good paper. Jeez, Jerry. Got, uh, got some on your shirt. Ooh, there's a crazy robot over here. And a bear. Bear's a lot closer. Jerry, robot. Yeah. Watch out for the bear. 
Also, I hope this robot doesn't explode. Situ situation report. Supply delivery. The convoy was ambushed at around 3 p.m. Multiple KIAs and wounded. Casualties include Major Tom, Corporal Davis, Private Hall, and Private Ryan. Immediate action is required. Door access key is still at the location. Jerry, stop dancing. I can see you all the way over there. Hi there, I'm Jerry McGooberry. I won't be helping you at all. Ooh, Mr. Skeletal. Oop, got your hat? Got your keys. Ooh, inside we go. Hey, robots. Find a way inside the facility. All right. Start flipping switches. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, fire not probably the greatest. Good riddance. <laughs> I'll just use my Omega gun. Hmm. Afternoon, survivors. It's time for some building buildings over here. I've underwent a transformation into a sea creature. I was convicted of killing outsiders with paralysis. Those damn Scooby-Doo's uncovered me. The high tower has all the qualities yes. of a holiday inn. Uh, is this it? Oh, wait. Here we go. All right, something's outside. Let's go. Nope, just a turret. All right. All the rads are gone. Feels great. Shut up. Hello. Whoa, Ghoul City. I got one missile left. Nice. Okay. Come on, don't be shy. Jerry, you want to take this one? There you go. Get it. Get him. Yeah, yeah, good job, Jerry. Shake that ass. Candy ass ghoul. <laughs> Shelly, we've got some good news. The bad news is it is very far away, and you're going to have to get some radiation suits. Candy ass ghoul. Hey. Hey, there you are. Here I am. My knight in shining armor. All right. Yep, that's me. So, did you find the missing supplies? I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. That's a lie. <laughs> sure you did, Silver Shroud. But for real, you did an amazing job. Those supplies are going to help out a lot of people. Here, take this. And I'll be sure to give you a discount if you ever need anything. I'll send out some people to collect it in the morning. I don't have anything else for you right now. But you could always ask Jake. Save it, store it, sell it, steam it, slam it. You can now place responder crates and shipping containers in your settlement of choice. Ooh. All right, we'll check that out. Uh, but we're, while we're here, Jake, how you doing? Excuse me. Hey, I've heard you found those missing supplies. Great job. Thanks, Jake. And because of your help and your continuous effort, I've decided to give you a well-deserved promotion. You're no longer a responder volunteer, because from now on, you're a responder. I don't know if Shelly told you this, but we're planning to turn some of these supplies into rations. And then when we are ready, we will start handing out these rations back to the people who need it. Just like we did in the old days. It's been too long since we've been able to help out a community like this. So hopefully we can start soon. There is just one issue. We still don't know who was behind those initial attacks. We don't know if it was just us being at the wrong place at the wrong time, or if it was somehow organized. So I want you to do an investigation. Normally I do it myself, but I think I am too personally involved in this one. So ask around. Ask people what they saw, what they heard. Anything that might help us to figure out who were behind those attacks. You do that, and hopefully we can put this all behind us. 
Talk to Walker. Texas Ranger. Well, the eyes. Whoa! I did not see any of this. I, I am sorry, everyone. I closed my eyes while I walked back here. Madeline! Hey. Oh, hey, Earl. This is awesome. Edwards? Excuse me. Oh, I thought that said Ed, but it's, it's FD. Still pretty cool. Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Oh, I, I can see it. I can see it on your face. Hear anything lately? If you don't mind, prefer to just talk shop for now. Got a lot of quality goods here. All right, let's see if that, that's true. I'll take a look, sure. All right. Ooh, wow, you do. Tarberry. <gasps> Veteran responder cap. Do I have one of these? I feel like we may have. Nope. I am a veteran of the responders. Quality clothing. Hey, Walker. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. The name's Walker. I've heard that you're the one responsible for finding us some new gear. You sure lifted a lot of people's spirits doing that. Why don't you tell me what happened? Ah, you mean with the Raiders, right? Yeah, Jake mentioned that you might swing by to ask some questions. Well, I don't know if Jake told you this, but we used to be stationed in New York for a while. New York. We received an emergency call a couple of weeks after the mayor kicked us out of Diamond City, so we split the group in half. One half would stay here in Boston, and the other was going to travel to New York to help out. And die. When we got there, it was just chaos. Pigeons but everywhere. We managed to turn it around for the most part. Believe it or not, but things were actually good for quite a while. We even had some new people join up, like Dr. Cross over there. But then, one night, we got attacked by a group of raiders. And it was unlike anything we had seen before. And these guys weren't the type of raiders that you'll see whacked out on jet ambushing caravans. No, these guys were trained. By the time we got to our weapons, they had already burned most of our camp down. The damage that these guys had caused was so extensive that we had to leave our camp behind. But it didn't matter where we went. At least once a week, we would get ambushed by raiders again. Not the same guys as before, but still, we were forced to retreat, and eventually we found ourselves in Providence. That's where Shelley got in contact with Jake. And, well, before we knew it, we were on a boat sailing for Boston. It's a good song. Sorry. Sounds rough. Yeah, it's been difficult. But that was about it, I'm afraid. That's all I know. All right. Thanks for your help. No problem, kid. Anytime. Thanks, Walker. Talk to Madeline. Jerry, you want to do you want to talk to Madeline? Before the sun comes up down. Yeah, up. Hey up. there. Hi. I don't think we've met yet, have we? No. I'm Madeline Cross. But most people call me Doc. Hey, Doc. I think Jake told me about you. You're the one who found those supplies in the glowing sea, aren't you? Check out my extra arm. Well, I certainly owe you one, that's for sure. Can I ask you something? Sure thing. Let me guess. It's about those raider attacks, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know much, really. I joined up not too long ago when we were still in New York... I've lived there all my life, and all I ever wanted to do was help people. So when those responders showed up, it was almost like it was faith. I joined up right there and then, and my life has been changed ever since. But there was one day, uh, well, let's just say something didn't seem right. I was called in to treat a patient who said he had a broken arm. Mm -hmm. And from that moment I saw him, I knew something was off. He was covered with burns. And his arm sure as hell wasn't broken. The people who brought him into the camp told me he was a scabber. But he seemed more like a raider to me. He probably wanted to get into the camp just to see the layout. You know, to strategize. That's about it. I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Not a problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some patience to tend to. All right, Madeline, well, best of luck. You have a great night now. It's all coming together. Shelly. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Fine. Of course. I guess it's about those raiders, isn't it? Can I ask you some questions? I heard Jake talking to you about it earlier, so I might have overheard a thing or two. 
But yeah, raiders. Um, well, after you cleared out the federal stockpile that had next to nothing in it, I sent out some people to collect whatever was still there, and they came across something very interesting. They found some notes of raiders who wanted to leave their current gang behind and instead join up with some guy named Ash. And they talked about him like he's some sort of legend. He's the very best. So, if these raiders are telling the truth, we might want some more guards. All right. Investigation notes. What's this all about? Investigation notes. Walker talked about how he and his team were attacked in New York by what seems like highly trained raiders and or ninjas. They had to retreat all the way back to Providence. Madeline told me about how she was called in to treat a patient, which said he had a broken arm, but was just looking around and seeing what's going on here. Shelley told me that she had uncovered some notes of a raider who wanted to leave their current gang behind and join up instead with some guy named Ash. All right, okay, sweet. It's a good summary. <clears throat> so how's it going? It's fine. Did you get any leads? Yeah, here you go. Damn. So, those attacks were organized after all. But if he wanted to attack us both here and in New York around the same time, it means he has someone doing some of the work for him. My god. And I'm not talking about his new recruits. I'm talking about a second in command. Someone who Ash trusts with his life in order to pull off a job like that. Right now, we have no idea where this Ash guy is located. And I got a feeling that his new recruits don't know either. But I bet some of his recruits know where his second in command is, though. So if we find a second in command, we'll find Ash. I'll ask Walker to send out some scouts to gather some more info on Ash and his second in command. In the meantime, I want you to focus on Ash's gang and operations. Oh, I can do that. In order to keep a gang running, Ash will most likely have a couple of lieutenants working for him. Walker said that these guys weren't your ordinary type of raiders, that they were trained, which means that they'll need to have some sort of training ground somewhere. My god. A place where they turn new recruits into lethal jet fueled killing machines. So I suggest you start there. Find this place and shut it down for good. Without new recruits and without training, we'll hopefully be able to make these guys a lot less dangerous. All right, Jake. You know what you want. You're dangerous. Alright. Jerry, um, are you with me? Hey, Scaver. Let's no, trade. No, no, I'm good. Hey. I bought a hat, remember? Wait there. No. Come on. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I got one of my, uh, auto mines. Nice. Alright, cool. It exploded on me. Nice. Awesome. Oh, I don't know where you are. Last and holy crap, I'm still frozen. Nice. Where's Sarge? Killed Sarge? Yeah! Alright, Jerry. Getting work done. Oh, hi there, how are you? Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sarge. Wait, did we... Did we kill Sarge? Kill Sarge, okay. Um... Yeah, let's go up there. Let's, uh... Let's fist fight him or something. I'll fist fight Sarge. With an axe. Jerry, are you taking the stairs? Ground it's very uh, health conscious of you. What the? Ground floor. Meet you at the top. What the? Hi there. Here to murder everyone. Part of the responders. We're an assassination group. Oh. Where are you? I'm gonna find you. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Ooh, you got a fancy gun. Now you yes. can have a fancy grave. New shipment. Where are you? Where are you? Oh god. 
Oh my god. Give me some peace, I gotta read a note. Wrench managed to get the next batch of weapons finished. I've sent them your way to supply the new recruits. You know where to find them, Ash. Oh, I'm finding you. School's closed for recess. School's out for the rest of the day. School is still in a single piece. Talk to Jake about all the people you murdered. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job, Jerry. Oh. There we go, Jerry. That's what I like to see. Whoa! You got a big gun. Okay, I might have to... He has... an enormous... Come on. Oh, I froze your dog, sorry. Time to reel him in. Oh! Ain't nothing. Don't you die on me! Oh, sorry about your dog. Oh my god. I feel a lot better. Oh yeah. 